Well, guys, good morning. Uh, super cold uh, northeast winds blowing in here. Um, it is Tuesday morning, uh, Tuesday tournament. Uh, crystal clear blue sky, so we basically got a high pressure front with a northeast wind, which typically doesn't bode well for fishing. Uh, to make matters worse, I was a little distracted, just kind of, I guess, daydreaming and uh, passed the gas station without filling up. So we're going to be limited as to what we can do today, but we're going to get out on the water and, and you know, hopefully put something together. Uh, at the very least, we're going to have fun. So stay tuned. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, water temperature sitting at 45 degrees. Again, northeast wind, uh, bluebird skies. It's gonna be a tough day. Um, it's really chilly today. I think the high is supposed to get to be about 39, 40 degrees. So uh, we will be uh, warming up a bit as the day progresses. Uh, I believe we've got about 14 boats out here, so uh, not a huge crowd, but should be a fun little derby. Now what we're seeing right here is me catching my second fish. Uh, I had previously uh, caught about a three and a quarter pound largemouth uh, on another rocky kind of embankment in a pocket. And uh, I, I inadvertently deleted that footage by accident. So my apologies about this. So this will be fish number two. Um, but sadly after this, I ended up running um, a bunch of pockets that just didn't have any wind in them. And so, you know, I did that for several hours and that was a big mistake. Uh, the wind clearly was a huge factor in generating those bites. And that's something that, you know, I know better. Um, and it generally plays out on Lake Norman. You know, windblown banks, windblown pockets, windblown po points are, are always going to be a pattern. As you can see here from the texture on the water, this cove is protected from the wind. And I never got bit in any of these coves. Now, unfortunately, I spent several hours running protected coves and wasted a lot of time doing so because I never got bit in any of them. Okay, guys, at this point, it's very obvious what the pattern is. We run a few code, run a few points that didn't really have wind on them, but, but had the right ingredients and in we haven't gotten quite. So we're going to roll back into the wind, windblown pockets, and we're going to focus exclusively on the rest of the time.
Not super big, but he's chunky. Hey guys, it's 15 after 12 o'clock. We've got an hour and 45 minutes to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start heading back towards the ramp and uh, probably gonna refish some of the areas that I've already fished uh, just to see if I could catch an additional one, maybe call out that smaller fish that I caught. Uh, so far we've got three fish and that's it. So not uh, too many bites, but we did waste a lot of time once we got out of the wind. Once we got back into the cuts, started getting bit again, uh, the wind blown cuts. Um, and uh, I'm hoping that we can secure another good fish to kind of anchor our bag. Cause right now, I don't know, I maybe have six pounds, which probably won't be enough to do it. Uh, they have been catching some good sized fish out of the lake here recently. Um, I don't know what exactly everybody's been doing or what, what part of the lake they're fishing, but they've been catching some big ones. In fact, eight, nine pounders. So that is, uh, those are unicorns on Lake Norman. So um, I suspect somebody will weigh something similar today, but uh, you know, you never know, we'll see. But hopefully we can put something together here in the next hour and 45 minutes. Wish me luck. Well guys, we're gonna close out this video, but just explaining uh, what ended up happening at weigh-in. You know, I had thought this northeast wind was gonna be just, you know, dismal. Uh, I thought that front was just gonna kind of shut down fishing. I couldn't have been more wrong. They were definitely chewing. Uh, I ended up catching um, a total of six fish throughout the day. Unfortunately, I missed my biggest fish. Um, and it wasn't that I missed it on camera. I just inadvertently didn't extract that video. Um, and ended up deleting it off the GoPro. So my apologies for that. Uh, I did the same on another fish catch that I just missed. But uh, I ended up weighing uh, around seven pounds uh, for my three fish, which is re typically respectful on Lake Norman on these three fish limits. You know, generally what's winning is around seven or eight pounds. Uh, so, you know, the big fish that I unfortunately missed, you know, I'd anchored my bag, but on this particular day, there was a lot of big fish caught. There were two bags, uh, about 11 and a half pounds each, another bag, maybe another two bags that were over 10. So great day for everybody on the water. They definitely chewed. Uh, everybody reported catching their fish on crankbaits. So um, 
you know, obviously if you're in the right place at the right time, you are definitely catching them. So awesome day on the water though, overall. Uh, sorry, I didn't capture all the fish guys, but uh, you know, hopefully I'll do a better job of editing uh, later on in the future, so in future videos. So thanks again for watching. And as always, we'll see you out on the water.